in this condition the force responsible for failure of bonding is shear force compression tensile force and none of the above now there is a three unit bridge over here in the given image so this bridge is going to be cemented on the abutment and the bond between them is called shear bond now what is shear bond so if you look at the explanation here Tensile is going to cause elongation of the material and compression is going to cause shrinkage of the material. Both of these properties are not relevant in terms of bond strength of a material. The bond strength of a material is determined by the shear force that is the surface force of that cement. So if there is any failure of bonding between the cement and the restoration it is mainly because of the deficit of the shear bond between them. Therefore, shear force causes the failure of bond between the bridge and the abutment.